Hey, hi friends. Welcome to today's video. So today we are going to discuss about data class. Now before discussing about data class, let's see that why actually we require data class. Why we cannot just use normal class to have our functionality. So what I have done here that I have just simply defined a class and created two object of it. And then I'm just comparing those two object and let's see that what it prints. So ideally it should print true because my name and salary both are same in both the objects. So let me run it and see what is the output. So you can see that the output is coming as false, but my values are same, right? Now why it is coming as false? Because when you write this E1 equals equals to E2, it actually compares the identity it doesn't compare the value now how can we do that like let's say that if i want uh, these to print true because in my case actually it should give me the right value so in the class we can override the equals method you will get the equal method okay now you have to implement this method and then compare this property of this class now i have already implemented it so i'll just copy and paste the code here now if you see what i have done here I'm just simply comparing the name and salary both. So if both are equal, I'm just returning that it should return me a true. Otherwise, it will return me false. And now if you try running it, it will give me a true instead of returning you the false. Okay, now let me try changing the value. So let's make the salary 1100 in one of the cases. And this time I should get false as an output because my values are different for both the object so it is working fine okay similarly there are other properties like to string and copy that also we use on top of class which we cannot directly use it unless and until we implement those methods okay so if you try implementing all those methods it will create extra overhead for your classes without making much sense into your code but in normal scenario we can avoid all this code just by making this or changing this class to data class. So what we have to add to make this class as data class, we have to just add the syntax data. That's it. Now the moment you write this data class, it has this equals property already defined and implemented what we implemented for normal class. And see now if I change it back to 1k and run it, this time it will print me true. The first question is that how, what are the various uh, things that is required to create a data class. So here we saw that the data keyword is required. Then it should have at least one parameter with val and where. Like you cannot, let me, if I just remove these two. So then in that case, you cannot create a data class. It should have at least one parameter. Okay. The second thing is that the data class cannot be appended with abstract, open, sealed or inner classes. Okay, now there are many inbuilt method inside uh, data class like equals. Just now we saw this equals. We have has called two string copy. Let's me if I have to print the has uh, like two string for this. Let's say print ln and then even dot two string. And if I run it again, it will print the two string. See here. Now the other thing is that these all things. One thing we should keep in mind that we can implement this in the class. Then again, we have to do our own implementation. Okay. Now let's see some other features. The one of the features that we generally use is copy. So we can uh, copy from one object to other object. So how we can do that? Let's say that if I have to create another object E3, uh, for example, E3, and uh, I want to keep the same name, but different salary. Okay. So what we can do? We can copy from anyone, let's say e2 dot copy. Okay. Give the parameter which you don't want to um, copy. Okay. So here, let's say that I don't want to copy salary. I want to copy the name, but salary I want to provide new. So salary, and I'm giving it as, let's say, 300. Okay. So it will create a new object it, which will have the same name as e2. But the salary will be different. Now let me print E3 once. And you can see that the name is same, but the salary is different. So that's all about the data class uh, in Kotlin. Hope you have uh, enjoyed watching this video. 
and if you have really enjoyed then do subscribe the channel thanks for watching thank you